Are the pull rates better in the temporal forces ETBs versus the booster boxes? Let's find out today. In today's video, we're going to be opening two whole ETBs of temporal forces, the Walking Wake artwork and the Iron Leaf artwork. And a quick shout out before we begin, this ETB was provided to the channel for free by PokeVault. We're going to be doing a joint giveaway of the contents of these boxes along with a bunch of cards from temporal forces and it will be happening on Instagram. Please make sure you check out the link that's in the description below so that you guys know exactly how to enter and what's up for grabs. Thanks again, PokeVault. I've also linked the shop in the description. So if you guys want to check out some genuine Pokemon products or pick up some stuff, do make sure you go through the website and with that let's get right into it temporal forces elite trainer box with the walking wake artwork so let's get right into the contents with the snap there we go it comes standard with nine packs of temporal forces which we're gonna get into we get these awesome deck dividers of course we get this brick of energy cards for you to play and again following the same theme of walking wake these amazing etb sleeves which come with a gold foil in the back and last but not least we get this flutter main promo which is number 97 this artwork was a standard card in the japanese set wild force and cyber judge but it comes as a black star promo in the english set so you get flutter main in the walking wake etb and you'll get iron thorn in the other artwork of the ETBs and of course we have the Temporal Forces Player's Guide which gives you all the cards that are available in this deck and you can see the SIRs here on the second last page and these SIRs are absolutely gorgeous in real life all right so we're going to get into these nine packs let's see how it goes are the pull rates of ETBs better than booster boxes so during the YouTube rip and ship we opened two full booster boxes of Temporal Forces and we were only able to pull full arts from it mainly and uh, an SR which is the Morty's Conviction SR or full art trainer whatever you want to call it uh, the pull rates are absolutely brutal however in the next two booster boxes that we opened on Instagram we actually managed to pull two SIRs so it is just all over the place I'm not sure what to say like what is my final comment on the pull rates of the set but man it is tough to pick those SIRs and I think the prices of those SIRs will hold they're absolutely gorgeous and so tough to pull and we start off with a chat art and a Scovillian EX. That's a beautiful, beautiful hit. If you guys don't already know, this artwork has its own Easter egg. The electrical lines that you see that are running across and the chat out positioning, these are actually sheet music notations. So the birds are placed in the same notes as the sound of the chat out in the Pokemon Center in the game. One of my favorites on the set. Love to see it. Let's get into the next one. Pack number three, start off with an Azumarill, Yamper, Grubbin, Medicham, Sandy Shocks, Beheim, Rapidash, and we get into an A spec. This is another feature of the set, a beautiful addition to the set. Uh, these amazing A spec cards, which are coming back after black and white era. So I believe that by adjusting the pull rates, the Pokemon company is trying to do something different here. It's trying to rehash or kind of reinvigorate the interest in Scarlet and Violet era. Of course, with the low pull rates, it becomes even a bigger chase for the people who are collectors. And at the same time, it's giving all the relevant cards for the player. So I think they have kind of trying to, you know, strike a balance between what a player needs and what the collector needs. So I think that's a big W overall. Let's get into the fifth pack, which is again, the Iron Leaf pack art. And let's see what we can pull from this pack. C Dot, Toto Dial, Deerling, Pidov, Salvatore, love to see it, Palafin, Screamtail, Bramblin, Eri, which is also a beautiful artwork in the full art form. So far, it's been a pretty decent showing. I think from one ETB, if you're able to get one A spec, that's pretty good. Uh, from a from a player standpoint, like if you're just a player and if you want to, you know, grab a few cards for your set, it might not be the best one, but still pretty interesting that uh, the hit rates in the ETB seems to be slightly better than uh, what we saw in the booster box because the booster box comes with 36 packs so you're opening quite a lot of uh, cards and i guess the strategy for you know uh, maybe a master set is still uh, the, the booster box is still the right way to go about it edb i'm sure that uh, i'm not sure if you're going to be able to create a whole deck from it if you are a player but uh, i don't know if, if you have done it so far and that has been your experience please do let me know we're hoping we can get a few more hits maybe one full art and let's see if we can hit something bigger from these last two packs of temporal forces we have beldum we have heat more reninculus roly coli mist energy sauce buck yamper on the reverse carvana and coridon all right i'm just gonna keep it there so let's see if we can pick up some last pack magic from this elite trainer box now we start off with the ponita chat art courtney carvana vika volt latias that was a huge surprise to see latias in the set uh 
sorry great task we have another turtonator on the reverse a heat more reverse followed by a bramble gas but still out of these etb which is nine packs we get an ar we get two exes we get a freaking a spec card and a nice thick stack of cards which will also help somebody with the master set everything that somebody would need to start playing the game or start collecting the set finding all of these things from single etb i think is a w all right so we have the unigabas now in the back and let's see if the unigabas can get us some luck for this alternate variant of the temporal forces etb so this is the iron leaf variant and it comes in this gorgeous green color and this etb has the exact same contents as the walking wake version except for the fact that you get an iron thorns promo in this we have nine more shots at pulling an sir let's see how it goes by opening these two etbs can we get a little bit more lucky from the etbs when it compares to the booster boxes what has been your experience so far opening temporal forces please do let me know in the chat if you guys have opened other product oh we start off strong with a walking wake ex gold first pack magic let's go so the unigabas are definitely bringing the luck we hit the walking wake ex on the first pack all right let's get into the second pack like i was saying before i would be interested to know if you guys have opened any other product of temporal forces um because there seems to be a release of a lot of the blister packs right now three pack blister single pack blister what has been your pull rates and what have been your luck so far i seem to be enjoying the set there are a lot of new pokemon here uh for people to enjoy third pack of temporal forces from the iron leaf etb i'm already pretty happy from this etb so far uh, we have pulled a walking wake ex gold which is a very very nice textured pickup um, although my favorite out of the three is uh, the raging bolt we take the walking wake but yes we are daddy long neck fans definitely raging bolt all the way let's go fourth pack with the meltan c dot toto dial dueling reninculus Mist Energy, Sauce Buck, Dealing again on the reverse, Salvatore, and an Iron Crown. The second hit from the ETB is the Iron Crown EX. Five packs left. What can we get? The Iron Crown EX in the SIR form. That card is like apparently going crazy and it's understandable. It's a very good looking card. It's a looker for sure. Uh, Nagimiso, the illustrator, huge fan of Nagimiso. If you guys don't know, he also did the Jolteon V Alt Art artwork, right? a uh, great illustrator beautiful artist four more packs to go the etb which we opened the walking wake one didn't really go that well i think i'm going to add some hits to that because that is the giveaway that was uh, you know organized by mr pokey vault for the followers on instagram please make sure you do check out my instagram for the giveaway details uh, because there is a post on instagram to tell you, to show you how you can enter the giveaway even though the opening is on youtube because my preferred format is youtube uh, instagram has been fun we're almost hitting 500 followers even on instagram uh, and we did a, a live opening of two booster boxes of temporal forces also on instagram uh, which was an absolute blast to the community you know little late night degen but we now are left with two packs from the ctb so let's get your predictions in will the hit be in the right pack or the left pack we'll start off with the right pack walking wake artwork i have a feeling it's in the iron crown but let's see i've been wrong multiple times the turtonator new pokemon for me hoot hoot beldum heat more rapid dash boltund mutsdale Duoisian. Ooh, a sauce buck AR. That is saucy. But yeah, this AR is really nice because it's an AR pair. It goes really well with the dealing. This uh, ETB is hitting, and I think we did get an AR from the other ETB as well. But there you go. We have three hits, big hits from this pack, along with the promo that comes in the ETB itself. So I guess yeah, the Iron Thorn should also get some love back there. Let's get into the last pack and see how we can close this video. Are we going to close it strong, or is it going to be an EX? Is it going to be a Prime catcher? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mori's conviction, Bronzong, Shiftry, Feraligator, Reverse, Sandy Shocks, Reverse, ending with the Drampa Grandpa. Overall, not a bad ETB. So what I'm guessing is that every ETB has like two to three hits, which is which is not a bad hit rate, right? I mean, especially if you're getting like the big hits, like the gold and the ARs. ARs are absolutely beautiful in set. So not a bad ETB overall. What do you guys think of the set? Are you enjoying Temporal Forces? Do let me know in the comment section. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, happy hunting.